Send them to the tower, sharpish. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 most f***ed up facts about the Tower of London. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we've picked some of the most surprising, shocking and creepy facts about one of London's most famous tourist attractions, the Tower of London. This will either make you want to visit even more, or put you off for life. Number 5. The Ravens Ravens have been kept here pretty much forever. It's not just history seekers and out of towners you find flocking around the Tower of London. For longer than anyone can remember, a pack of six ravens has roamed the grounds, and their continued presence there is steeped in superstition, lest they fly away and leave the monarchy and blighty in ruins. There was an ancient legend which if the ravens leave the Tower of London, it would crumble into dust and a great harm would befall the monarchy and the country. The birds are actually clipped as a means of keeping track of them, and spares are even kept in holding so that if something should happen to ravens one through six, they can be replaced post haste. It may be rooted in a tall tale, but some things just aren't worth tempting fate over. But keep the ravens here at the Tower of London as wild as possible. Number 4. The Princes in the Tower The infamous Richard III is linked to plenty of negative and not so nice stories, but probably the most famous of them focuses on his treatment of his young nephews. He was trusted to watch over them after the death of his brother, and so they were kept in the Tower of London for their own safety. At least, until they disappeared. The boy's remains were found many years later, earning the building a nefarious nickname, the Bloody Tower. During the reign of Charles II, workmen were remodeling the tower when they found the skeletal remains of two children hidden under this staircase. To this day, no one is quite sure what happened to the princes, but it's safe to assume that ruthless Richard had something to do with it, and that by apparently protecting them, he was more likely imprisoning them. Number 3. The place is haunted The Tower of London has perhaps the most famous ghosts in London as well. Henry VIII is responsible for several of them. There's no real surprise that there have been various reported ghost sightings at the Tower of London, given the building's sinister and deathly history. It's famously said that the ghost of Anne Boleyn can be seen there, cradling her severed head under her arm. And the previously mentioned princes, they've allegedly been seen both crying and playing, though perhaps not at the same time. And these are just the high profile cases. According to popular belief, the tower is way more haunted than your average haunted haunt. But perhaps the strangest sighting of all was that of a grizzly bear, which had once been held in the tower's zoo, and now lives past its days, trapped between bear heaven and bear hell. Number 2. Torture Methods It may be one of London's premier visitor attractions now, but the tower was a prison for centuries and an infamous scene of terror to turn even the hardiest criminals into a weeping wreck. You cannot sustain being stretched and extended to breaking point as on the rack or with manacles for more than about 5-10 to ten minutes without passing out. It's extraordinarily painful and it's something that was used repeatedly on people uh, to gain confessions. Large parts of the tower's bloody history boiled down to the torture of prisoners by eye-watering means, not least the gunpowder plot for Guy, Guy Fawkes. The notorious Fawkes was stretched on the rack, hung from his wrists, and beaten until a confession was forced out of him. Their limbs were tied to opposite ends of this terrible machine and the winches were turned and it literally dislocated all the joints. We all remember, remember the 5th of November, but the brutal history of the Tower of London sometimes skips our minds. Long before it got to that stage, whether you had committed the crime or not, you admitted that you had done. Number 1. Public Executions Public executions took place on Tower Hill, just outside the, the boundaries of the tower, and they were a very popular form of entertainment for centuries. One of the darkest parts of the tower's history, even more so than the hauntings, torture and alleged child death, are the executions that took place there. Let's take the kids to the execution, the Londoners would say, and they'd get up early to get a good seat on the stands which had specially been erected. There was less than 10 inside the tower on Tower Green, but more than 120 outside on Tower Hill. The reason why most took place on Tower Hill? So that the public could stand by and watch, of course. 
Only an elite handful of unfortunates were given a private execution after all. The aristocrats were entitled to being executed by cold steel. This was the nearest thing to being killed in action in battle by an enemy sword, whereas your ordinary prisoners just had the hemp and rope. And to round the events off, the executed person would often have their head paraded through London, or placed on a spike over Traitor's Gate as a warning to any other potential ruffians. Like Game of Thrones, but a lot closer to home. After the head is displayed to the crowd, it is carried through the streets of London and displayed as a warning to other traitors. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.